And just in time for Valentine's Day, a couple reunites after 335 days of forced social distancing. On their wedding day in 1963, they vowed to love each other in sickness and in health. First Alzheimer's, then the pandemic. Their vow remains unbroken. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. Hi, Jerry. How are you? Harriet and Jerry Shankman, a love story that began with a blind date at a Manhattan jazz club and has endured for almost 60 years. My husband's a very kind, lovely person, so I give a lot of credit to him. Just a good person, and I was very lucky. Jerry is a resident in the Alzheimer's care program at the Bristol in White Plains. The memory destroying brain disorder, a difficult situation for any family, made more so by the pandemic, which ended in person visits for months. The Bristol installed a patio heater. The devotion of visiting family members has warmed the hearts of the staff. You know, touch his hands on the, the, the window, you know. So, yes, love is strong and it endures. Hands meeting on a window, a poor substitute for holding the hand that's been at your side since 1963. Not something I ever imagined in my lifetime. Wednesday, the forced separation ended thanks to revised visitation policies and COVID vaccinations. The Shankmans held hands, and for a brief moment, Jerry seemed to reconnect with the world. A Zoom photo op arranged by the staff included a touching moment when Jerry presented a Valentine's bouquet to his bride of almost 58 years. I'm so happy to be able to bring joy and showcase you know, love in a time like this, we all need it. Harriet believes the pandemic separation further diminished Jerry's grip on his memories. She has hers, and they're precious. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Well, this reunion was originally scheduled for Sunday on Valentine's Day, but Harriet Shankman has an important appointment that day. She's actually getting her second COVID vaccination shot. Priorities are in order. He got the flowers done. Yes, he right? did. Let yes, that serve as a reminder to the rest of us. Yes, there's hope. Yes. We have to remain hopeful. That we do. You know.